Hello everyone, Jawtooth again, and today I'm in Hamilton, Ohio, and I've come to a spot that nobody ever films at right here. It's on a bike trail. It's a long walk to get over here, so that's probably why. But we got a train coming right now, and look at this behind me. This is really, really cool. An old rock and brick railroad viaduct that goes over the creek and goes over the bike trail. There's an old power plant in the background. Got a train coming. Let's go ahead and start the video, son. Here we go. There you go. That's for you, shoestring. This train is headed northwest. It's going to go through Newcastle and Muncie, Indiana. From there, I don't know where it goes. Brand new automobiles. Look at there. Three levels per car. About five cars per level.
Just think of all the brand new cars on this train. About 15 of them per rail car. Now SUVs and bigger cars, they only have two levels on those. So you'll have less. So it depends on what kind of car that they're hauling. Each one of those auto racks are between 89 to 91 feet long. Cool. What does that mean? There's the end of it. All right, that was a good one. That was a really good train. I'm on this bike trail. It's got a long walk over here. And um, this bike trail goes right underneath the railroad tracks. Two tracks up there. You got Norfolk Southern and CSX both use this line. And also Amtrak comes through here three round trips a week. Woo! Check, check. A little bit of an echo there. Okay, there you go. We just walked through the tunnel. I don't know what the creek is, but it empties into the uh, Great Miami River in Hamilton just a little bit that way. Oh, wow, I hear another train coming. Sounds like it's going to be a CSX this time. the auto racks train ah oh, but wait there's more of course all is this okay this is really interesting right here see the sign it says stop and pedestrian and cyclist keep left so you're supposed to dismount right here you're supposed to stop it says stop you dismount pedestrian and cyclist stay to the left to go underneath of this railroad viaduct here and that is because car traffic goes on the right hand side that house back there i guess that's what that is and there are some skid marks right here looks like somebody burned them off right there somebody going back to that house or something so the side for the cyclists and pedestrians is really narrow look how narrow it is see what the yellow line is so you're supposed to dismount and walk down that little narrow area in case a car comes. And this is toward the way. I just thought that was kind of interesting. And there's also a mirror right there. So hopefully you can see if somebody's coming. There's another mirror on the other side, but it's broken. But look how narrow it is for the bikes and pedestrians. How much room there? Here's another sign that says dismount bike ahead and it's got the flashing light. Battery's dead on that one. But there are several of these signs telling bicyclists to dismount right there and walk through, but I haven't seen anybody do that yet. 
and they're only supposed to be on the left hand side and there's a couple more warning signs up that way two more you can see just to the left of the telephone pole with the flashing lights so they're warning people about this hill and that you're supposed to stop dismount and go to the left but nobody's done that yet now i haven't seen very many bicyclists only a few okay here comes the train this time it's the southbound let's see if any cyclists come through here i've seen a few in between trains and nobody has dismounted everybody just flew right on through there Cool, look at that. Is that cool or what? Awesome. Drain train. That's this train right here, 352 axles, so it's less than 100 cars. It's on track one, southbound, headed towards Queen's Gate. Actually going to the guest street yard at Queen's Gate for Norfolk Southern. And I'm picking that one up on 160.230. Norfolk Southern branches off just a couple miles to the north, which would be to the right, and they head towards Newcastle, Indiana. And on that line, they use 160.440. Now, when they go this way, southbound, they branch off about a mile or so to the left here, and they use that 160.440 on that. You can also listen to the CSX dispatcher on 160.320 right here. And then your into train device, 452.9375. The head end of train device, 457.9375, which I rarely ever use that. They don't put out a very strong signal. I usually only listen to the end of the train. Not many people out bicycling right now. It's about 50 degrees, so we got lucky. Temperatures went up. It was in the 20s last night. Sorry about that if you're trying to count cars. I'll get back over this way again for you.
Well, there she goes. That was a good one. No bicycles came through. I was hoping to see one come by while the train was going over. Uh, there's not a whole lot of people on this bike trail, really. It's probably because it's, it's hard to find a good spot to park. I'm not sure why there's not that many people down here, but yeah, I mean, I had to walk a long ways to get to here. This is pretty cool though. Walking through here, you got that echo. Check. Check. Testing one, two, three. Check. I had somebody come by on a bike. You're supposed to dismount, didn't do that. And you're on the wrong side. Hey, does anybody know what WhatsApp is? I don't know what that is, but I don't want anything to do with it. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but there's been a few times where um, somebody took my picture and my name, Jawtooth, and they put it on something called WhatsApp, and they're asking people to call. Well, that's not me. I've blocked five of those so far. So I don't like talking on the telephone anyway, so you know it's not me. Don't ever call that number. If someone tells you to call and they're using my name, it's not me. Because I would never ask anyone to call me. I don't like talking on the telephone. <laughs> I'd rather talk on the, the radio or text. There's the bridge. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. That's pretty cool. But wait, there's more. Of course, there always is. Got another train coming. And I can tell this time that it's a CSX. You can tell the horns apart pretty easily here between Norfolk Southern and CSX. Even the Amtrak, you can tell all their horns apart. But here we go. This one is gonna be a northbounder. Actually, we got two trains coming. Norfolk Southern is first, here they come. This one's southbound. No CSX. Flat spot. Oh. Didn't dismount.
Wow, this is a long one. Those big auto parts box cars, those are huge. Wow, that was a long one. Had a few people use the bike trail for that one. Man, that was a good one. Walk back through here again. I actually like getting them on the other side. So I guess the, the cars that use this as a road go down that lane right there there's a house way back there and maybe the city of Hamilton uses this for their sewage treatment plant too okay everyone thanks for watching that was pretty cool well that's about it for the trains up here in Hamilton it's time for me to head home and I don't think there's gonna be any going through here for a little while so thanks for watching everyone and if you have time watch another video of mine every view really helps my channel so we'll see you later from Hamilton, Ohio.